huge. I like the sound of my voice. <laughs> All right, you want All to run right. that? That was a great preface on that. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, so we'll run that video now. <laughs> it makes me quiver. Today's talking about a cracker facility. Well, let me tell you what we've got. We have a company called Mark West. Is Frank uh, Semple in here today? He's the seat. Where is, uh, where is uh, Frank? Frank, come on up. Okay, we have with us today, you know, the, I kind of enjoy all this. This is what it was like when I was growing up. <laughs> Hey, Steubenville, let them know what you think about disruptions, huh? Uh, let them tell, tell them what you think about it. My name's Portia Bolger. And what's your issue? Fracking. And what's your status of it? It has to stop. We cannot afford to take a chance of destroying our groundwater. We cannot live without water. And it's not if the pipelines will leak, it's when they will leak. We can capture the air, we can capture the sun. We do not have to allow John Kasich to destroy our state. He's bringing wastewater in from Pennsylvania. We have got to stop him. I want my grandchildren and their children and your children to have a happy world and to be healthy. We are an agricultural state. Fracking destroys the water, the land, and the air. We cannot allow this to happen. And I hope that everybody that's got a smirk on their face right now understands you need water to live! Mike Chick! Mike Chick! John Kasich! John Kasich! Is selling out Ohio! Is selling out Ohio! To frackers and Wall Street! To, to frackers and Wall Street! We will not be quiet! We will not be quiet! We will not be bought! We are the people! Kids in school. People power, kids in not school. corporate profit. Respect the kids that are in class, please. Respect, respect the class. Corporate power. All right, good. That we're supposed to. We are respecting those babies. We want them. We want them to have clean water. That was so powerful. I, like when when they said this is a school, my first thought was. Those kids should be looking out the window and that teacher should be giving a lesson right now on democracy because that's happening in their face and it's important, it's affecting their water.